Hey guys and welcome back to another video here from Techie Bytes. Today I'm going to be giving you guys the rundown on all of the latest tech news from the week. So let's get to it. Alright, first up on our list of news is Windows 10, which got released on the 29th of July, but it may not be available for you as it is for me because they're rolling it out over several days, so you may not be able to get your new version of Windows 10 just as soon. But Windows 10 is a big jump up from Windows 8 and Windows 7, and it's free for all of you Windows 7 and Windows 8 users within the first year. And you can expect to see a video coming about that pretty soon. Um, so Windows 10 is a big upgrade. They're saying it's the last major upgrade that um, Microsoft is going to make on Windows. And then they're going to go for smaller, more frequent updates. Um, all free. So that should be good. Um, and I'll be waiting to get my new version of Windows 10 on my laptop pretty soon. So watch out for a video about that. Um, other news, um, OnePlus just released the OnePlus 2, and after the big success which was the OnePlus 1 last year, it was the flagship killer of um, 2014, and um, it had amazing specs for a really low price. So um, basically what you're getting in the OnePlus 2 is the Snapdragon 810, which is the highest um, Qualcomm made chip in their lineup, um, but uh, other people have been having overheating issues with it. But let's just see if OnePlus have sorted that out. Um, hopefully they have. It comes with a 1080p display and three or four gigs of RAM, depending on whether you get the 16 gigabyte or 16 64 gigabyte um, variant. Um, and they're both quite cheap, it's $399 for the 64GB and the 16GB is $329. Oh, and by the way, it's a 1080p display. Um, so basically what you're getting is a flagship for half the price, so um, great specs for a great price. Um, and it's also got a notification slider which everyone's making a big deal of but also what people are making a big deal of is what isn't in the OnePlus 2 and what isn't in the OnePlus 2 is quick charging even though the Snapdragon 810 supports it so I don't know why but it does come with a USB-C cable which is probably one of the first smartphones to use a USB Type-C cable, so that's pretty cool. Um, but it doesn't have NFC, and it doesn't have wireless charging. And to be honest, I'm not too bothered about the wireless charging being emitted from it, but um, NFC, if you want to do mobile payments with Android Pay coming, that might be a big thing for you, and maybe even a deal breaker. Um, I think the camera is pretty good from what I've seen, so we'll just have to see. Um, the OnePlus 2 is shaping up to be a really good phone, but there's so much more competition now in that budget market, so we'll have to see how well it does. Uh, the other people who had news was Motorola. Um, they released the Moto G and two Moto Xs, the um, more affordable Moto X Play and the um, flagship Moto X style, which is also called the Moto X um, Pure Edition in other countries, so I'm not really sure why they went for different names for the new Moto Xs, but um, whatever. Um, the the specs on the Moto X style is are pretty good. I mean, it's a 5.7 inch screen, which is very big. But it is Quad HD, and it is also quite reasonably priced, it's $399, um, so the same size, uh, same price as the high-end um, OnePlus 2. And you get pretty good specs, you, you only get a Snapdragon 808, but 
um, I guess you don't have to worry about overheating with the 808. Um, and the camera's pretty good. So then you have the Moto X Play, which has a 5.5 inch display, um, 1080p, um, with um, a Snapdragon 615, and a, m a massive battery for the size, so I mean, you're probably going to get the best battery life on any smartphone with the Moto X Play. Um, and then you've also got the Moto G, and they've finally brought Moto Maker to the Moto G, which means you can customise it, so you can get the Moto G, which is just right for you. And all, of course the Moto X's both have um, a Moto Maker on them, but uh, on the Moto G, you get... Um, you get uh, a new camera, I think, and also you get um, waterproofness, um, so it truly is quite a rugged smartphone for a reason a really reasonable price. So, um, and Moto the Moto G is Motorola's best selling smartphone, so hopefully it keeps up with that trend. And I think that's about it for news. Um, Keep tuned to Techie Bytes for all of the latest tech news. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe if you want to see some more of my content. Thanks for watching.